presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Kolo emerged from Dumba Pass, many miles south of Bhutan's camp, and he was seized by a British patrol whose commanding officer refused to listen to his story. As he was about to be made a prisoner, Captain Carstairs arrived on the scene. Kolo immediately gave the captain the evidence which Shanghai Lil had collected against Bhutan. Meanwhile, Myra Trent went to Peter Hawkins and his son Ronnie to deliver the key to their prison hut, which Jim had given her. The three then waited for a signal from Jim, but before it was received, they saw the natives start an attack. During this time, Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil succeeded in making Bhutan a prisoner in his own hut. However, during the fight that preceded the capture of the prince, several shots were fired which attracted the attention of Bhutan's men. The natives immediately started an attack, but Jim and Lil succeeded in barricading themselves within the hut. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Jim and Lil have just placed Bhutan's chair in front of the door of the hut and told him that if his natives attempt to shoot through the door, he will be killed by his own men. Better order them away, Bhutan. If your men shoot through that door, you'll be killed. Bradley, wait. Pull me out of the line of fire until I can make them hear me. You better talk fast, Bhutan. Gunha, stop firing. Stop, you'll kill me, you fool. Stop. Do not shoot. Uh, I thought that understands you, Bhutan. They're still out there, Jim. I hear them. Master! Master! Gunha, I am a prisoner. Do not shoot. Shut up, Bhutan. I'll tell you what to say. Now, Jimmy, let the cat out of the bag. Gunha knows that we're holding Bhutan, him. Bhutan, listen to me. This is your last chance. Tell Gunha to call off the natives. And if he refuses? If he knows what's good for you, he won't refuse. Now go ahead and tell him. Very well. Gunha! Well, he doesn't answer, Jim. They're probably planning something. Try again, Bhutan. It is useless, Bradley. They have gone away. If you are wise, you will listen to me. Don't worry about us. You're the one who's in a spot. Perhaps you will find our positions reversed in a few minutes, Miss Devril. Oh, yes? While you were out of the room, I was telling Bradley that you offered to join me once. And you fell for it. You didn't think that I believed you, did you, Bhutan? What was he trying to tell you, Jim? Oh, that you were ready to sell out, Lil. <laughs> Bhutan tried to make me believe that it was me whom you were fooling, and that you were ready to join with him. I may have been wrong. However, the situation is different now. You cannot possibly hold out an escape. And yet... I am still ready to make you a generous offer. You are generous, aren't you, Prince? I can afford to be. Well, get this and get it straight. I'm the one who was sent into the jungle to get you, and I'm going to take you back to the authorities. You can't buy your way out of this. We're wasting our time, Lil. Come on into the next room. I want to talk to you. Wait, Jim. Are you sure he's tied tight enough? Oh, don't worry, Lil. He won't get away. Come on now. Well, what do you think we'd better do, Jim? Wait. I don't want to have him hear us. I don't like leaving him there alone. Bhutan's a slippery character. He's tied tight, Lil. Now, listen to me. We've got plenty of guns here in the hut. I think we ought to get everyone together. You mean Hawkins and his son, Ronnie? Exactly. There's a chance that we can get them in here through the rear window without the natives seeing them. Have you got the key to their cell? They got it themselves, Lil. I sent it to them by Myra Trent. Then I doubt if it ever reached them. She never did anything right in her life. Oh, forget that, Lil. I'm sure they've got it. The next thing is to get them into this hut. Now, Myra's probably with them. Leave her out of it, Jim. I don't want her here. Hawkins and his son are coming in, and she's coming with them if I can reach them. Lil, don't you see? If five of us start shooting at once, those natives will run away. Jim. What's the matter? I smell smoke. Come on. Phil, you're right. They set the hut on fire. Bradley! Get me out of here, Bradley! Oh, Jim, this may be a trap. You're right, Lil. But I don't think they'll burn down this hut while Bhutan's here. No. But the smoke is out. Look how the smoke is coming in under that door. Bradley. Bradley, you can't leave me here to be burned alive. Those fools. Shut up, Bhutan. Jim, we can't stay here much longer. The smoke's getting thicker. We're not going to stay, Lil. Come on. We'll go to the back of the hut. Don't leave me to die, Bradley. Miss Tiferel, you can't. Well, what are you going to do? We can't leave Bhutan in there. That's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, but he'll be killed. Not a chance, Lil. They build a fire of some kind outside the door. It's a plot to smoke us out. Only we're not going to stay here that long. What do you mean? Pick up those guns there for Hawkins and his son. All right. Now, all the natives are in front of the hut. 
We're going out a window on the side toward the jungle. We'll be hidden there. Now, when they think they've got us smoked out, they'll probably try to enter the hut. I see what you mean. When they do, we'll surprise them from behind. That's right, Lil. We'll beat them at their own trick. Are you ready? Go ahead. Open the window. All right. Jim, they can see us. Wait, Lil. Wait. The wind's changing, Lil. It's carrying the smoke toward them. Why, Lil, that'll make a perfect smoke screen for us. Oh. Now, come on. This is our chance. I'll go out first, Lil. Come on, Lil. Here I come. Good girl. Now run, Lil. Straight into the jungle. Oh, they can't see us now. No, I guess we're safe enough. Look, Lil. It's just as I guessed. They built a fire on the side where the wind would carry the smoke into the hut. And the wind changed. The smoke has driven them all back. Lil, Lil, look. What's the matter? The fire is out of control. It's blazing against the side of the hut. Bhutan will be burned alive. While this scene has been taking place, Myra Trent and Peter Hawkins have been standing at the edge of the jungle far on the other side of the camp, waiting for Ronnie, who disappeared into the darkness in search of weapons. Do you think we'll be able to help them, Mr. Hawkins? We will. If them blooming natives don't break in the door first, Jim and Mr. Beal must have taken Bhutan a prisoner in his own hut, and somehow his natives found out about it. Oh, if they do break in, they'll kill Jim. And don't say it, Miss Trent. Don't say it. We've got to save them. As soon as Ronnie gets back with the guns, we'll get around on the other side in the jungle and fire on them from behind. The natives will probably think it's Kolo come back with help. Listen, they've stopped shooting. You're right. I don't like it. They're up to something. Oh, if only Ronnie would get back. Perhaps we could find him. No, Miss Trent. No, we'd better stay here. He's looking around in the natives' huts. There's someone coming. Keep down, Miss Trent. Keep down. We don't want to be seen. What? Where are you? Oh, it's Ronnie. This way, lad. This way. Ronnie, did you find any guns? Yes, Father. I've got two rifles. Good boy. That's all I could find. Father, I think Miss Trent ought to keep back in the jungle till this is over. No, Ronnie. I've got the revolver Jim gave me. But it's not safe for you, Miss Trent. But I'm going to help, Ronnie. She can keep behind us, boy. We've got to get started. There's something up. I know. I crawled up close enough so that I could see part of what was going on. Yes. Gunha is leading the men. They were firing on the hut, and then they stopped. They huddled together, talking now. Talking? Then they must be planning something. Come on, we've got to hurry. If we can join forces with Jim and Mr. Breedle now, we'll take the camp. Come on. I hope you're right. Oh, I want to get out of here and never see the jungle again. I understand how you feel, Miss Trent. Oh, I wish you'd call me Myra, Ronnie. I was going to ask you if I could. I want you to stay close to me, Myra. I'd rather have you between father and me. Oh, you mustn't think of me. I'll be all right. Oh, I wish I knew what the devil was up to. There hasn't been a sound. We're getting around toward the other side. Look. What's that? Where? What do you see? There's a red glow. See, through the trees over there. You're right. Something's afire. Take my hand, Myra. Come on, we're going to run. It's, it's the hut. It's a fire. The natives are set at a fire. And Jim and Mr. Beale are in there. I know they are. I saw her at the window before the shooting started. Come on, Ronnie. We've got to do something. Wait, Father. Why? Here, come over this way. Look, they haven't really set the building afire. What? They're trying to smoke them out. Blimey. See the fires in front, and the wind is carrying the smoke toward the windows and doors. They're throwing something on the flames. It's moss, probably, to make a fire smoke. Look, that wind's changing. The smoke's driving the natives back. Come on. Come on. This is our chance. Wait and see what happens. That hut is locked up tight. Jungle Jim and Miss Gabriel are not in danger yet. But the fire is starting to burn the building. We've got to get to them, Ronnie. No, Father. The natives are coming up on the other side. They've circled the smoke. There's Gunha. Yes, he's going around the hut. Yes. Ronnie, he's going to try and break in one of the windows. He stopped at the one in back where I saw Mr. Real. You're right, Miss Trent. And he's climbing in. Look, it's open. Father, don't you see? What? That means that Jim and Mr. Real escaped. What? They climbed out that window. Otherwise, it wouldn't be open. That's it. She closed that window just as you came out of your cell. Remember? There he comes. Out of the front door. He's carrying someone. Father, it's Prince Bhutan. Maybe he's dead. A short time later, Prince Bhutan regains consciousness and faces his assistant, Gunha. Master, are you all right? 
<coughs> See that the fire is put out immediately, you fool. It is being done, Master. What has happened to Mr. Brill and Jungle Jim Bradley? Did you capture them? They, they are gone, Master. Ah, so you allowed them to escape, Guna. You have failed. You shall pay for this. But, Master, the wind changed. The men were driven away. It was then that they escaped through the window. You lie, Gunnar. I was talking to them when they left. What of the ancient one and his son? They are locked up, Master. How do you know? Have you looked? Slave! Yes, Master. Go to the hut where the ancient one and his son are confined. <coughs> Make sure that they are there. It shall be as you ask, Master. They could not have escaped. Silence! You have failed for the second time, Gunha. First, when you allowed the slave Kolu to go to the authorities. Now, in allowing Jungle Jim Bradley and Misty Brill to escape into the jungle. Master, it could not be helped. Some of the men have deserted. I have accepted your excuses for the last time. You shall have one more chance. I shall do whatever you ask, Master. Very well. Master, Master, they, they are gone. What are you saying? The hut is empty, Master. The old one and tiger are gone. You are sure? The door, the door is open, Master. So, Gunnar, not only have Jungle Jim Bradley and Misty Brill escaped you, but you have also allowed the ancient one and his son to leave. Have mercy, Master. It could not be held. They must be brought back. Do you understand? No one has ever defied Prince Bhutan and lived. Bradley and his friends must pay. I shall leave at once. This is your last chance. The prisoners must be brought before me by sunset tomorrow. That they shall be here. If they are not here, you will pay with your life. The tiger's claw has spoken. Go. At once, Master. I will bring them to you, dead or alive. Failure means death. I go, Master. When you have captured them, return here. We've got to break camp and head for China immediately. <laughs> Is this the end of Prince Bhutan's reign as head of the Tiger's Claw Smuggling Society? Will Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil escape? And what of Myra and Hawkins and his son Ronnie? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in next Sunday's Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the mischief of Skippy, the antics of the Katzenyammer kids, Jiggs and Maggie in Bringing Up Father, Gags and Gals, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, the usual predicament of the Little King, and Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.